top of the volcano. this whole path leads you to a place of you being able to stand as a figure that can help other people learn and other people master these things like it symbolizes being a teacher rather than a student after six months of traveling on the road i think it's safe to say it would take many lifetimes to experience the entirety of what the earth has to offer i was tired of making excuses that one day i would see the world so I threw a mattress pad and a sleeping bag in the back of my SUV and hit the road. I had no knowledge of what it actually meant to live on the road full time. I barely even went camping growing up, but I was willing to learn, and I did very quickly. From exploring caverns deep in the mountains of Colorado, to biking over the Golden Gate Bridge, I've experienced a lifetime in the past six months, learning what it truly means to be a nomad. Not afraid of the consequences of not conforming to everyday society. Breaking out of the day-to-day -day habits we've gotten ourselves into. We hold so tightly to that what doesn't serve us and it makes us forget the true meaning of life. Growth and change. We can never experience anything new if we don't take the leap of faith. We may not know what's on the other side, but is it worth living a life of comfort to never find out? I was willing to take the blind leap into the unknown, and what I found was memories that I can't replace, places I never imagined seeing, and people I would have never met. It was always one day I'll go there, one day I'll see that place. Life is so short and that day may never come. You learn to be more grateful for the conveniences in life like running water for a start. Having to shower with a sack full of cold water is a great way to wake you up in the morning. You have to expect going as much as a week without a shower. It's like going back to the bare minimum of how life used to be there's something beautiful that can be found in living a more simple life. You begin enjoying the little things, and that's what counts the most. Spending most of my nights alone in a remote location, eating out of bags and cans, taught me how little I needed to be happy, teaching me to truly be grateful for everything. I never planned anywhere I went, finding a cool place on the map and just going. In this instance, I drove with no idea where I was going and somehow conveniently ended up at a beautiful event full of people in a small town called Buena Vista, Colorado. Something I found on this journey was my inner child, a part of all of ourselves that gets suppressed and shoved away over time. Children live in the moment. They're not ashamed of the past or worried about the future. The happiest moments in our lives are when we are just like children, singing, dancing, and exploring just for fun. That is why most of us are depressed today. Someone at some point told you it's not okay to express your inner child, so we lock it away and forget how to have fun and live in the moment. By immersing yourself in solitude is when we discover who we truly are. Instead of doing what everyone else tells you, listen to your inner guidance, and that can be discovered in solitude. Our biggest strength is discovering who we are. That's all we've got. Otherwise, we're living someone else's dream. I want to wander out of the valley Where the river takes us far away from home Time to ponder in the fields around me Where there's nothing but the breeze in the gray unknown Leave your worries and your suitcase 